It's been going on now for a couple of weeks in Austin, Texas. This is the third explosion, at least been uh, confirmed by authorities there thus far. The first two, the first one was back on uh, earlier in March, and that killed a man. Uh, the one this morning, uh, early this morning in the 6 a.m. hour, killed a teenage boy and injured another woman at the house. Right now, the only connection they're saying between those two is that both families were black. They're not ruling out the possibility this is racially motivated. At the same time, they're not saying it is. Uh, they're saying they don't believe it's terrorism, although you could say, argue it's domestic terrorism, depending on what's going on here. This third explosion just happened recently. In fact, in the last hour or so, Danny, here's what we know. We're told that a woman in her 70s was badly injured. Another woman was not injured from the blast at this most recent explosion, but she was uh, taken to a hospital with another, another injury uh, from whatever uh, took place there. They're not confirming this most recent blast today was an explosion from a package. So here's what we have. We have the one from earlier in March. We have the one this morning, and now we have the one in the last hour or so at another home in a different part of the city. It's all they're telling us at this point. Um, they have put out a uh, warning now in the area for anybody. If you receive a package that you're not expecting or looks suspicious, do not open it. Call 911. They don't believe these packages were delivered via the mail or via package service. They believe at this point they probably were set on people's doorsteps. Uh, that's where we're at right now, Dana. A lot going on here. Obviously, very fluid. We'll keep you updated on the situation in Austin, but very disturbing. Uh, uh, to say the least at this hour as there's been three explosions and all by the way as the backdrop of all this is south by southwest is right. going on right now